Quasi! Are you alright? Aye, Captain, but I can't get the Orca to budge! Oh, I don't feel very well. Is it just me or is it getting really hot? Quasi, there's a bucket in the gup. Will you grab it and pour some water over the Orca? He needs water to stay healthy. Aye, aye, Captain! If I could just... <laughs> oh. oh no, I'm stuck and I can't stay out of the water for long. Don't worry. On my honour as an Octonaut, I promise that we will get you off this beach. In the meantime, Quasi will keep you cool. Oh, thanks. Octonauts, the Orca is stuck on the beach. Our mission is to get him back into the water. Until then, we must keep our whale friend cool and wet. I'm on my way, Captain. Tunip, if you don't mind, I could use some help from the Vegimals. <laughs> the orca is too heavy to move himself when he's on land. If the orca can't move himself, we'll have to move the orca. Tweak, we need you here as soon as possible. Right away, Cap. Hey, I hear my port calling to me. <laughs> Oh no! All of the orcas are heading straight for the beach! Quasi, keep pouring. I'll be right back. Orcas, stop! Please, let us pass. We must go after our cousin. If you go too close to the beach, you'll get stuck as well. We're his pod. Members of a pod always do what they can to help each other. You can count on the Octonauts to bring him back to the pod safe and sound. But there must be something we can do to help. Well, I know it cheers him to hear your voices. Maybe you could sing to him. All right, Captain. We shall sing to him. The orca is too heavy to move when he's out of the water. We've got to figure out a way to pull him back out into the ocean where he belongs. We're going to need rope. Lots and lots of rope. I'll contact the octopod and ask them to bring all the rope we've got. There's no time to lose. Ouch! Now, you listen here. <laughs> you don't have to hide. No one will hurt you. Mm. This beach belongs to us crabs. You and that giant thing must go, go, go! I know. Wazzy, sound the octo alert. Aye, aye, Captain. Octonauts, to the HQ. Octonauts, we need to... Whoa! What was that shaking, Captain? It felt like some sort of tremor, Peso. An underwater tremor, to be exact. It's caused when the bottom of the ocean starts to shake. And now our ship is tilted. Quasi, Tweak, let's get the octopod standing straight again. Aye, Captain. Sure thing, Cap. There's our problem. The shaking damaged one of the octopod legs. No worries, Cap. We'll have the ship fixed faster and you can say Buncha Munchy Crunchy Carrots. Buncha Muncha Crunchy... Oh, never mind. <laughs> what be making that strange sound? Look, over there. It's a... it's a... it's a slimy pink pudding. I'm pretty sure it's a sea cucumber. Ow! 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 <gasps> Rock must have fallen on it during the tremor. Ow! 
We're gonna help you, little fella. We need peso down here, right away. Peso reporting for medical duty, sir. Don't worry. I'm here to help you feel better. You wanna fix the octopod, Cap? Thanks, Tweak. Activating Octoscope. Hmm. It's a big storm, and it's heading straight for us. Dashi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, we have to get the octopod ready before this storm gets here. If a storm is big above water, it'll be just as big below water, too. Dashi, let us know when the storm gets closer. Aye, aye, sir. Peso, close all the outer portals. Aye, aye, Captain. Tweak, pull in the octopod arms. Aye, aye, sir. And Quasi, start turning off the engines so we can... Quasi? Hmm, where is Quasi anyway? Uh, he's test driving the gut B. Outside! Tonight? Oh, it's nothing. Stick close to your family. Whoa! That's a big family. Where's everybody going? Out of the reef to deeper water. That way we'll be safe from the big storm. Big storm? What big storm? The one that's heading this way, mister. If there's a storm coming, I better make sure everyone in the reef is safe. So long, matey! Yow! Giant iceberg dead ahead! Whoa! That was a close one, Quasi! <laughs> oh, the ocean deep is the life for me. Showing off from port, sailing out to sea on the octopod, just you and me. And a million fish in the deep blue sea. Shiver me whiskers. Ice avalanche! Turn, turn, turn left! Turn right! There's nowhere to turn. We've got to stop the ship. Now. <gasps> Ten seconds till we hit the ice wall. Oh, ah! 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 Ah!
mutinous scurvy octopod stop! Six seconds till we hit the wall. Five. Hold on. Three, two, one. It's okay. We've stopped. I know, but you're standing on my foot. Oh, sorry. Phew. That was close, mateys. Now what, Captain? If we can't go forward, then we go back the way we came. Ow! Captain, look out! We're trapped. Dashi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the HQ. Captain, are we in trouble? Well, Peso, we're trapped here in the freezing cold waters of the Arctic Ocean, surrounded on all sides by ice, with no clear way to escape. So that's a yes, then? Ah, you know, these ice walls are often quite thin. It might be possible to break through one of them. Aye, let me out there in the gut B, Captain. I'll smash that ice to smithereens. Or I could add a drill to the gut D and... Uh-oh. I was afraid this might happen. What might happen, Tweak? We've stopped moving, and it's so cold that ice is clogging the engines, shutting them down. Cutting off all power to the octopod. No good. The ice is too thick. If only I could find a place where the ice is thin. Hmm. No sharks here. Nothing here either. Try the front window. <gasps> Jumping jellyfish. It's a a sha sha sha. A great big white tip shark. See the white tips on its fins. Oh, and look at those teeth. Ooh, we could use a toothbrush. Whoa! What's he trying to do? Oh, Captain, I think he's trying to take a bite out of the gut. He could hurt himself and us. Hold on, Octonauts. <laughs> Uh-oh, sounds like some gunk got in the propeller. Hold on, everyone. All right, mateys, the next point wins. <gasps> Shiver, whiskers. It's the cup, eh? Having a grand adventure chasing after a shark. You're not chasing that shark. The shark is chasing them. <laughs> ah, we can't seem to shake him. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to your stations. We need to get away from this shark. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You got it, Cap. Hold on, everyone. <laughs> Ready, Tweak? Now close it. Phew. Good work, Octonauts. Fascinating. I wonder why that shark decided to chase us. Maybe you looked like a tasty dinner, me hearties. No, that can't be it. 
Sharks don't eat ships. I'm just glad that shark didn't catch us. That'll teach me to take out a gunky gup. Um, how's the gup cleaning coming along, Quasi? I haven't started, finished yet, Captain. <clears throat> well, back to work. <sighs> There they are! Pedal! <laughs> we'll never catch up to them in this thing, Captain! Whoa! What was that? Quasi, let's not get distracted. Huh? We're coming up fast behind you. You'd better move along. Who do these speedy show-offs think they are? We're sailfish! Pacific sailfish, the fastest fish in the ocean. They have to be fast. The herd sardines like that. Watch. Look how they work together to get them all in a tight group. Are my eyes playing tricks on me? Or are they changing colours? They seem to change colours when they get really excited. Check out the old shipwreck. I wonder how fast that baby can go. Yeah, probably about as fast as a sleeping sea snail. Oi, who are you calling a sleeping sea snail? Get back here! Hold on, Quasi. They might be able to help us. Help us? The only other thing I've seen move as fast as they do is the Gop B. <laughs> Hello, a sailfish. We were wondering if you could help us find our missing ships. Sorry, fellas, but we're in a hurry. We're following the sardines up the coast. Ah, oh, forget about these slow coaches, Captain. Uh, slow coaches? I just don't think they're fast enough to help us. I suppose you're right, Quasi. They probably couldn't keep up with the guts anyway. Good one, Captain. Now they want to prove how fast they are. Couldn't keep up. You gotta be kidding. We're the fastest things in the whole ocean. We'll find those ships. Grab under those sails, guys. Let's go. Fast enough for you back there. Ha ha ha! Hi, matey! Ha! I like this guy. There they are, straight ahead. Follow those gups. We'd better split up and herd them into a tighter group. Octonauts, we've got to get back on board the Octopod. Yuck! More algae. Quasi, activate windscreen wipers. Aye, Captain. Gup A to Octopod. Gup A to Octopod. Come in, Octopod. Professor Inkling, this is Captain Barnacles. Can you hear me? Please come in. Got A to Octopod. Is anyone there? Come in. Hmm, now, where are my books about algae? I know they're here somewhere. No one's answering. That's odd. I was just talking to the professor a few minutes ago. I hope he's okay. Maybe he's taking a nap. Ah, if it's not the Professor, then who's steering the octopod? <gasps> ah, here we are. Algae. Uh -huh. <laughs> lots of algae. Uh -huh. Lots and lots of algae. Captain Barnacles, if I can just get close enough, I think I can grab the octopod. Go for it, Tweak. Gotcha. Bullseye. Woohoo! Well done. Whoa! Whoa! 
We've got to get back on board the Octopod. Are you with me, Quasi? Aye, matey. Hey, so you drive. Me? Ooh. Aye, aye, sir. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> Octo hatch. Professor Inkling could be in trouble. Yeah. All about algae. Everything about algae. Mm -hmm. Everything else about algae. Ah. Ah. She won't open. Let me try. Sometimes it takes some polar bear strength. Combined with some cat like quickness. <laughs> ha! To, to get, get the, the job done. done. Hey! Octonauts, can anyone think of why a walrus would take Peso's medical bag? He must have thought it was a clam. Yes, they do love to eat clams, Captain. It had all my bandages and medicine. Without my medical bag, I can't help creatures feel better. Don't worry, Peso. We're going to find that walrus. We'll march right up to that whiskery lump and make him give back your medical bag. Yow! Peso, Quasi, to the Gup A. Open the octahatch, Tweak. Right away, Cap. Ahoy! One whiskery walrus right ahead. We must be getting close to a walrus colony where they live. Whoa! That's a lot of walruses. If your bag's in there, we'll find it. <clears throat> um, hello there. I believe there's been a misunderstanding. You see... Hey, you guys aren't walruses. You got that right. We're octonauts. This is our colony. Walruses only. Uh, easy now. We just want to... All right, back off. Move on. Oh, Move on. Well, well, uh, uh, now, wait, 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 wait. Enjoy the dip. So much for marching right up to them. <laughs> got me when I wasn't ready. Avast, you scurvy walruses. Hmm. There's got to be another way for us to get into the walrus colony. And then... Splash! We all fell into the water. Hmm. Walruses don't like to share their home with other creatures. Sounds like if you're not a walrus, you're not getting in. But if we looked like a walrus and acted like a walrus... Maybe we could sneak in. And find my medical bag. Tweak, we're going to need your help. Sure thing, Cap. Octonauts, Operation Octo Walrus begins now. Let's go. Do you really think Tweak's costume will fool them? If it'll get my medical bag back, it's worth a try. Fair enough. Come in, Shellington. This is Barnacles. We're sneaking into the walrus colony now. Excellent. Now it's very important that you act like a walrus. Don't let them push you around. Huh. Must be a new guy. Walruses say hello by blowing in each other's faces. Blow back or they'll think you're being rude. Oh, um... <sighs> That's all you've got. <sighs> um, we need to blow harder. Everybody. One, two, three... <gasps> <sighs> Now that's more like it. Nice to meet you. If you've got any extra clams, give them to the chief. He's hungry. We've all got to share our food until he feels better and can find his own. Right. Thanks for the tip. It's working. 
We've made it inside the colony. One of Peso's stickers. We must be getting close. Keep your eyes peeled. You're stepping on me tail. Sorry, but it's hard when they keep smooshing up against us. Exploring that when the tide went out, it left us in. We'll just have to make the best of it. Yow! Did anyone bring a beach ball? All kinds of creatures get stranded in rock pools until the tide comes back in to free them. Look at this beautiful shell. We'll have to wait here for an hour until the tide brings the water back in again. Peso, you're in charge until we get back. Me? Right-o, Captain. I need you to keep a watch on things until we get back to the octopod. I'll, I'll do my best to keep everything under control here. You can do it, Peso. Barnacles out. Sorry, we'll play again later. Right now, I have to get to HQ. It looks nice and calm out there. That's good. Let's check the radar, Tweak. I don't see anything unusual on the radar. Hmm. That's good. Let's listen for any unusual sounds coming from outside the octopod. No unusual sounds out there. That's good. That's not good. It sounds like a, a creature who needs help. We, we've got to do something, Tweak. We've got to, to... Sound the octo alert? Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, I've got to find whatever's making that noise. Don't forget to use the camera on the gup. Yes, so we can see what you see out there. Remember now, we're right here, ready to help you. Um, Peso. Oh, right, okay. <clears throat> Open the Octo hatch, please. You got it, Peso. <laughs> well, Professor, Peso may be a little shaky, but he's doing fine. Yes, Peso's never too frightened to help. Once he's learned that something might be in danger, nothing stops him. This water is getting rough. Dashie to Captain Barnacles. There's a storm about to hit and it's big. The iceberg has changed direction. It's heading towards... Me! Dashie, sign the Octolama! to the HQ. Octonauts, there's a big storm on the way. <gasps> That's dangerous for the Adeli penguin parents. They could get lost at sea. The storm will blow ice and snow onto the shore. Peso and Quasi will need to find a way to keep the chicks warm. Dashi, contact Peso and tell him to get ready for ice and snow. Already on it, Captain. I'll find and rescue the Adeli penguin parents, but I'll need a bigger gup. Tweak, meet me outside the octopod with the gup C. Got it, Cap. Octonauts, let's do this. Hang on, penguins. I'm coming to get you. Oh, got you. Oh, 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 oh,
shelters and keep the chicks warm. And we need it fast. Bandages. Bandages? Quasi, throw me bandage rolls as fast as you can. Ready? Aye, but go! <laughs> Everyone, inside the tent! <laughs> this is so exciting! I don't want to go inside and miss a big storm! Rocco, it's too cold for you out here, matey! Oh, all right! <sighs> that ought to do it! Nice and cosy! Right, Rocco? Where's Rocco? He's not in here. Then he's out there. I'm going after him. Rocco! Rocco! <laughs> Rocco! I'm too to move. What's going on? There's something aboard the ship. We found eggs in the garden pod. I saw it in the library. I almost captured it. It was a snake. <gasps> a snake? On the octopod? Are you sure, Peso? Yes. It was in my medical bag. It must have been a sea snake. Many kinds of snakes live underwater. Was it one of these, Peso? No. No. That's the one. A sea crate. They're the only sea snakes who lay their eggs on land and not in the ocean. Those must have been sea crate eggs that we found in the garden pod. But how did one get on board? I'll check the security cameras. There. Aha. So she snuck in in the middle of the night. And now she's trying to get out. Once sea crates lay their eggs on land, they immediately return to the water. She can't swim out now. She'll get sucked right into that whirlpool. Octonauts, find the sea crate and keep her on board until it's safe. Um, there's just one other little thing, Captain. Sea crates are poisonous. <gasps> poisonous? Yes, but she'll only bite if she's scared. We'll have to be very, very gentle with her. These handy snake grabbers ought to do the trick. Octonauts, let's find that snake. <gasps> that whirlpool is stronger than we thought. Dashy, activate steering wheel. Aye, aye, Captain. off this ship. Follow that snake! This must lead to the sea. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Captain, the snake is escaping through the lab vent. Let me see if I can help. I need to get into the sea. Why are you trying to stop me? We're just trying to help. There's a dangerous whirlpool out there. If you go out now, you'll get sucked right in. Seriously? We're so serious. So, can we bring you back to your eggs until the whirlpool passes? That's not how it usually works, Penguin, but sure. I still can't tell what they are for certain. They don't seem to be moving. Then let's get a little closer. Closer. <gasps> Jumping jellyfish! Dashing, put us in reverse and pull away. Uh, I'm trying, Captain, but something's got us. Oh. Switch to steering wheel mode now. Uh, must 
break free! Uh, ah! oh, oh dear. Ow! Ow! What? Shiver me, whiskers! Lappity flippers! It's no good, we're held tight! Dashy, lights! Let's see what's got us! Why I kept it? <gasps> it's an enormous eye! Those itty bitty lights around my eye fooled you, didn't they? You didn't know they belonged to big old me. We mean you no harm. Please, let go of us at once. No! <laughs> I grab it, I keep it, you weird looking squid. Daddy, stand the up to alert! Octonauts, to the HQ! <laughs> Idea what's grabbed us? Yes, it's a colossal uh, squid. It's like my cousin, the giant squid, only oh, bigger. It's uh, the biggest squid in the ocean. I wish it would stop shaking us. No more shaking. Phew, that was easy. Time for squeezing. Crush the octopod! Not if we match him tentacle for tentacle. Tweet? I've got just the thing, Cap. Wearing this tentacle suit, Professor Inkling will be able to move the arms of the octopod as if they were his own. Whoa! I may not be good at pushing buttons, but I'm an expert at tentacle wrestling. Excellent. Activate tentacle suit. <laughs> to the side. <laughs> now down. That's it. Ha -ha. You're swashbuckling like a proper pirate, Professor. Ugh, oh, my. I need to break free before he gets his hooks in us. Hooks? What hooks? The colossal squid has hooks on the ends of his tentacles. Yeah, which makes it quite a challenge to get away from him. Almost there. Just a few more twists and turns, and we'll be in this. Ah! <gasps> Ink Cloud, a classic move from the Squid Playbook. Oh no, I can't see where his tentacles are. That's right, eat my ink. <laughs> I'm taking you down, way down. Are you there? Come in, Dashy. There's a dangerous storm approaching, and there's going to be a lot of lightning. And when lightning strikes the ocean, the electricity spreads out through the water near the surface. So even if it doesn't hit you directly, you can still get set. Thanks for the warning. I'm heading to deeper waters right now. Barnacles out. <laughs> Been hit. Whoa, a manatee. More manatees. Hey. Whoa, man, what's the hurry? Time for an emergency landing. Whoa, make that a crash landing. Phew. Huh? Yeah. Um, giant clam, I think you have something that belongs to me, and I'm gonna need it back. In that case, we'll do it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> hmm, this could take a while. Uh-oh, sounds like more lightning, and it's heading straight for those manatees. Time to sound the octual... Oh, can't uh, quite reach. Aha, a sticky limpet. And a little seaweed. Uh, bullseye. <laughs> Octonauts to the HQ. 
Octonauts, the lightning storm is heading straight for a herd of manatees. We need to get them to safety. Are you with the manatees now, Captain? Um, not exactly, Peso. I'm sort of, um, stuck. Uh, doing something else at the moment. But I'll guide the mission from here. The lightning storm's picking up speed, Captain. Keep tracking it, Dashy. Everyone, let's move those manatees to deeper water. Captain, wait. Go ahead, Shellyfish. I mean, uh, Jellington. Uh, I mean, Shellington. The manatees breathe air, Captain. They can only be underwater for a few minutes before they need to take a breath. So, the manatees will need to be moved somewhere they can breathe. Then we'd better lead them back to the Ouchopod. The Ouchopod? I meant to say, get all those manatees inside the Octopod now. Aye, aye, Captain. Octonauts, to the cups. Yow! We're going into that seaweedy mess to find Tweak's rover camp. The driving could get tricky in there. We'll take the Gup X. You got it, Cap. Tweak, Peso and Quasi, you're with me. We'll be the first to go into the sea of vanishing ships and come back out again, if we're lucky. Shiver, whiskers, there's a jungle out there. It's not the sea of vanishing octonauts. Don't worry, Peso. We won't get lost in here. With the Gulf X's mapping system, we can always find our way back to the octopod. This is where we lost contact with the rover camp. Any sign of it, Tweak? Nope. Nothing yet, Cap. <gasps> There's that sea turtle again. The rover cam was following him when it broke. Let's ask if he's seen it. Yeah, he disappeared again. Over there. Let's try and catch up with him. There he goes. Here he goes. There he goes. Now which way did he go? Another tremor. Hold on, everyone. and Quasi. Tweak to Captain Barnacles. Come in. Cap? Quasi? Oh, it's no use. The radio's broken, too. Tweak? Peso? Are you all right? We've lost contact with the rest of the Gup X. You mean it's vanished? No, it's out there. We just need to find it. But first, we need to get the glider moving. Let's go out and check on the damage. <laughs> First things first, Peso. I gotta fix the Gup Connector. Gup Connector? I designed the Gup X so the different sections would always be able to find each other. Once the Gup Connector is working, it'll pull all the other parts of the Gup X back together. Along with the Captain and Quasi. That's right. Now, can you hand me a number nine spanner? Of course. Keep your eyes peeled for Mantis Shrimp. <gasps> Hermit crabs. Captain, they don't look well. We're too big for ourselves. When we get bigger, we have to find new ones. But we can't find any new shells on this reef that are big enough to fit us. Captain, Shellington has a huge collection of shells in the lab. And I'm sure some of those shells are just the right size for you hermit crabs. Really? Bigger shells? Ooh. You're not just pulling my claw, are you? Everyone aboard the Octopod for new shells. Oh, can't wait to get out of this old shell. <gasps> I'm sure I heard something strange. Wait. My ears must be playing tricks on me. Now let's see. I've got lots of different shells. 
You! What are you doing here? We all heard that, right, mateys? What am I doing here? You're in my new home. Your new home? It was on my side of the line. I captured it with my spear claw. Well then, maybe we need to settle this the mantis shrimp way. My smash claw against my spear claw. <laughs> Laws of danger. Now leave my new home at once, or prepare to face my super strong hammer smash. Ha! Hammer smash! Now you must suffer my super fast lightning spear. <laughs> 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 Jumping jellyfish, it's a mantis shrimp showdown! Ultimate Super Spear! Ultimate Super Smash! Octonauts, we have to stop this. Please, mantis shrimp, you'll hurt each other! Out of my way! We got no problem with you! This fight for our new home is between us and our claws! Easy now! Why don't we take you back to the reef and... No! Uh, maybe you two need a moment to calm down. There. A little time apart should do the trick. Uh, Camp, we got a vegetable stuck in the kitchen vent. Oh. Again. On my way. What about us? We need help getting out of these old shells. Don't worry, I've got a shell removal kit in the sick bay. Shellington, will you help me carry it? We'll be right back. Hear that? The big guy wants us to calm down. I heard. And I am already calming down at a very fast speed. That's funny, because everyone knows I'm the strongest in the sea at calming down. But you do not have my super fast calming move. <coughs> ah, so calm. <coughs> I'm the calmest, because I could break out of this tank any moment, but I choose not to. Oh, please, I'm so calm. I could shatter this tank with one spear! No! My double whammy hammer smash is stronger! Uh-oh. <laughs> Hardly! My triple whammy spear is faster! <laughs> Why, I order? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they don't know what the word calm means. It looks like the mother penguins have finished eating and are ready to get back to their families. We'll want to be on the ice when those penguins surface. Something tells me it's going to be quite a show. Look! Those penguins launch faster than cannonballs! Check, check. Check, check, check. Barnacles to Gup Eye, the Emperor Penguin Mothers are on their way back home. Not all the mothers. We're missing one. You're right, me hearty. Where's the penguin that gave me a ride? She must still be underwater. She'd never be late on purpose. Penguin mothers know when it's time to go back home. See? Something must have happened to her. She may need help. Dashi, take the Gup S under now. Captain, Emperor Penguins can only hold their breath for 20 minutes. Then we'd better move fast. There, Captain. Good work, Dashi. Peso, let's bring her aboard. Oh. Easy does oh. it. This penguin's a lot heavier than you, Peso. <laughs> She's an emperor penguin, the biggest, tallest penguin there is. And it looks like she's broken a foot and sprained a flipper. What happened out there? But I remember swimming to the surface, but then I hit a chunk of ice. The next thing I remember, you saved me. Now I need to get home. You need to rest. But my family is waiting for me. Then they won't have to wait long. We'll bring you back to the nesting ground ourselves. Oh, thank you. The wind's picked up. I think a blizzard's headed our way, Captain. Any sign of the other penguin mothers yet? I can't see much in this weather, and the ice is slowing us down. Everyone, into your snowsuits, just to be safe. Way ahead of you, Captain. Barnacles to Gup Eye. Can you find us a path away from this wind and snow? 
Turn northwest past the nearest ice peak. You'll be sheltered there. Understood. Thanks, Nat Quick. Feels like we're picking up speed. You'll be home to your family soon. I seem to be bumping into a lot of penguins today. What's happening? Underneath us is cracking. Ice chasm. Optonauts, abandon the gut S now. Captain! Gravity slippers! The quickest way in is through the manual steering pod. But how are we going to get in, Captain? Ah, I know a little trick. <laughs> wow! It's just like home! Only not. Only very not. Only very, very not? This is not how I left these chairs. Tweak, we don't have much time. Uh, right. The bubble converter should be in here. It'll just take a minute, Cap. A fast! What was that? <gasps> I didn't see anything. But there was something. This place gives me the creeps. <laughs> Ta-da! And it looks like it's in great shape. Well, that was easy. Or not. Oh, that's better. No, it's not. Something grabbed the bubble converter right out of my paw. I told you there was something in here. <laughs> Whatever it is, it has our bubble converter. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Uh, Cap, this one doesn't work. Oh, yes, of course. Octonauts, to your stations. Uh, Octonauts, are you there? Right here, Captain. Octonauts, I'm afraid this mission is taking longer than expected. There's something aboard this ship, and it's just stolen the bubble converter. Whoa! Um, is everything all right there? Um, everything's under control, Captain. Oh, and we're getting quite a workout. Oh. Hang in there. We're moving as fast as we can. Octonauts, let's split up and find that thief. I'm entering the sick bay now. No sign of the converter. Who's there? Uh, hey, let me out of here, you orange. Whatever you are. I'm in the game pod, mateys. Just a volleyball. Cut it out! Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight balls! Who can throw eight balls at once? I've reached the launch bay. Looks like someone's been down here moving stuff around. Ink? Huh? The barrels are back! But how? Now this is scary. Are you sure this is the place, Captain? I'm sure, Quasi. The Arctic Polar Scout emergency post is out here on the sea ice. Huh? Aha! There it is. Let's go. I'll just knock on the... Oh! Captain Barnacles, it's good to see you back in the old post, sir. Quasi, Peso, meet Tracker. Tracker, meet... The Octonaut guys. I mean, the Octonauts. I'm Quasi. And I'm Peso. Welcome to the Polo Scout Emergency Post. Tracker's in charge here, and he does an excellent job. I was trained by the best. That's you and Captain Barnacles. Yep. Before he was captain of the Octonauts, he trained polar scouts like me for the emergency service. What kind of work do you do at this post, matey? 
Okay, this is my listening station. When someone sends out a call for help in the Arctic, it's my job to hear it and make sure they get the help they need. And that's why we're going to set up a connection between this emergency post and the octopod. So we can work together to help as many creatures as possible. Ready to test the link? Ready, sir. Dashie here, Captain. Tracker, meet Dashie. She's our computer expert aboard the octopod. Nice to meet you, Tracker. Really nice to meet you. Uh, so, how's the signal? Good. OK, that's a call for help. And where's it coming from? It's... well, that's weird. It's not coming from the Arctic. It's coming from the opposite side of the world. The Antarctic? Yeah, and... Whoa, Captain, it's coming from an old ice research station that's been shut down for years. So there shouldn't be anyone living at that station at all. But someone's sending a call for help. And someone needs to answer it. Tracker, stand by. Yes, sir. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, our mission is to answer a mysterious call for help from the other side of the world. Tracker? Right, sir. I'm sending through a map now. Here we are in the Arctic. The call for help came from this ice research station in the Antarctic. And who lives at the station? Tracker says it's been shut down for years. And nobody's heard a peep from it until now, mateys. Dashy, set a course for the Antarctic. Tracker, we'll keep you posted. Cool. I mean, right, sir. And good luck. Tracker out. Activating launch. Oh, no. What happened to you? The reef. I got knocked off of the reef. Don't worry. My name's Peso, and I help any creature who's hurt or sick. May I examine you? Oh, so polite. I like this one. Examine away. What's going on here? <gasps> that does sound strange. We'll need to take an x-ray to see what's going on in there. Flappity flippers. There's a tiny shrimp inside you. And there's a sea star and a snail. There are all kinds of tiny creatures inside you. Of course there are. I'm a sea sponge. Oh, but I feel like there's something inside me that doesn't belong. Shellington, we need you in the sick bay right away. Oh, this is wonderful. I've never seen a finer example of commensalism. co -watalism? Commensalism. It means that all the little creatures inside the sponge get a safe place to live, even though the sponge doesn't get anything from them. It's not for nothing they call us sponges the hotels of the sea. And it doesn't bother you? No, not at all. I've never had any problems. Oh, until today. Yes, and if the sponge isn't happy, we aren't happy. Oh. Where are we anyway? Yeah, nobody bothered to ask us before they yanked us off our reef and stuck us in this pan. And what's with all the poking and prodding and light shining in me eyes? Well, I say. This used to be a nice place to live. Come on, everybody. Let's get out of here. Uh-oh. They're running out of room. We need to find places to put all these creatures fast. A room with a view. <sighs> That's the last one, Peso. Do you feel any better now that everybody's out? No. There's still something in there. What could it be? I don't know. But there's only one way to find out. We've got to take a closer look inside. Tunip, sponge your scope, please. <laughs> All right. This shouldn't hurt, but you may feel a little... <laughs> tickle. Having a look in... No? See anything yet, Peso? <laughs> a large herd of sea pigs is heading towards the trench. 
We have to stop them before they fall in. We'll need gups A, B, C, D and E. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> Attention, sea pigs! You must turn around. You're walking straight towards... Oh, food! Yum, yum, yummy food! No! It's a very deep trench. If you continue on your course, you will... Food! No! Yum, yum, yum. Please, listen to me. The trench is really deep and there's no food for you down there. Food! Food, you say? Yum, yum. Smelly food. Of course, that's it. Captain, I think the sea pigs may have picked up the scent of food on the other side of the trench. They can smell food from very far away. Then we'd better find whatever it is the sea pigs are smelling and bring it over to this side of the trench for them to eat. Quasi, Tweak, Dashy and Shellington, you come with me. Peso, stay here and keep an eye on the sea pigs. Aye, aye, Captain. This must be what the sea pigs are smelling. Yeah, those fellows actually eat this slimy stuff. It's rotten sea kelp that's fallen down from the surface. For sea pigs, it's very healthy. Healthy or not, I reckon it smells awful. I'm glad I've got this helmet on. It'll take forever to gather all this up. Captain, the sea pigs are getting closer to the edge. You have to hurry. Ugh, but there's no way we can get this slop over to the sea pigs in time. Unless... Octonauts, stay here and load this into the gups as quickly as you can. In the meantime, I think there might be a way to distract them. Yes, I know it smells, but we need to make something even smellier. Can you use this to cook an extra smelly feast for a huge herd of hungry sea pigs? And fast! Sure! Super couple! Work. I'm sure the sea pigs will love it. <laughs> Captain, I can't hold them back any longer. And you won't have to. <laughs> Flappity flippers, they're turning around. Steady as we go, Tunip. Hold her here while I unload the sea pig's feast. Super, Chubble. 